Hi, this is Lauren from Elsky Actions, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the bonus Lightroom presets for editing cake smashes in Lightroom. I'm demonstrating using Lightroom Classic on this Creative Cloud plan. Lightroom Classic is very much like the older versions of Lightroom, but you can also use these presets in Lightroom CC, uh, which I believe is just called Lightroom now. A bit confusing, you can use them on Lightroom Mobile, and you can also use them in Adobe Camera Raw. Once you've read the installation guide and got up and running with these presets, the installation guides will also show you a general overview of how to use presets in general in, um, in these various programs. Because they all do work a little bit differently, but the presets do the same thing in all of them. So once you've got your presets installed, if you don't have your presets installed yet, please do go back and watch the installation video, or you can read the installation PDF guide that came with your download. So let's open up the images. Um, I've got plenty of beautiful different styled images here, so I can give you a few different examples. These are from wonderful photographers all around the world. So let's get started with this one here from our Christine Nicotra at K Artosine Photography. So you click on develop up here, and once your presets are loaded in, your presets all show here in the presets panel. So I'm going to open LSP Cake Smash QT. Now you may notice some are um, grayed out. If you're using a raw image, certain raw profile, um, a JPEG image, sorry, or a PSD, this one will not show, but the rest will. If you're using an older version of Lightroom, you may not have these here, which are for newer versions, but generally everything should look the same. These are best suited to Lightroom Creative Cloud versions. So first of all, you can decide what you want your profile to be. And then you have bases here. You can literally just hover and decide which base suits your image best. I really quite like pop and lift, I think, for this one. The base affects this area of your um, of your profile, so you can literally come on in here and you can adapt some of the sliders if you want to, which you may need to, um, depending on your image style. Next up, you have tweak the balance. You can lift or darken all over. You can take the highlights down, lift up the shadows, take the contrast down, pop the contrast in. I think I'm gonna switch the base over. Because these areas all work independently of each other, you can switch them and mix and match as you like to build up your own unique edit. You calm the yellows a touch in this one. Perhaps add a tiny vignette. The vignette looks quite large on this image, so I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the effects section and take a little bit of that off. But you can mix and match this with your own um, your own tweaks, your own global adjustments here. You can change anything. These presets just give you a base. Let me create a virtual copy of this one. And we'll reset that one down. So here we have the preset edit. And here is before. So you can see that we've really added to the depth and we've really balanced the image out. One cool thing about using presets in Lightroom before you go over into Photoshop is you can then um, hold down shift to select all similar images in that um, shoot, hit sync settings, check all the boxes. Um, I wouldn't check the brush box or the spot removal or the crop um, if you've done any of those, so don't check those. But everything else, check it, hit synchronize, and you'll see as these images go pop, pop, pop. And those presets apply to all of the images. Super cool. That's like less than a three minute edit, basically, for your entire gallery. <laughs> and then if you want to, you can right click, edit in and choose Photoshop. It will send them over to Photoshop for you. And when you save from Photoshop, it'll save it back to Lightroom. Super cool. So let's open up another one here. Let's go for the one that we haven't used yet. This beautiful one here by Leah Cooper. So you can see this is a, um, let's go for the raw shot here, this is a raw shot CR2 file straight out of camera. So I'm just going to crop this in. Just crop that down and straighten up a little bit. Such a cute shot. Okay, so now over to the presets. You have the portrait or the standard profiles. You do need to set your own white balance and exposure manually. The presets don't do that, so you set your white balance here and your exposure here. But I think this is already perfect as it is. So I, I like the standard um, profile for this. 
Now we have Breezy, Gently Does It, Lemon Sky Base, Mini Vintage, Pop and Lift. I think Breezy works really well for this one. I'm going to pop a contrast back in. Had to take some of those reds down. And maybe the yellows. And then we're done. So let me create a virtual copy. Creating a virtual copy, you don't need to do this, it's just so I can show you the before and after by resetting the settings here. It's a lot easier than undoing everything. <laughs> so there's before and after. These presets also um, apply lens corrections to you. Then we have the preset edit and before. And you can, of course, come in here and tweak this um, to your liking. You can change everything here just to see your image a bit more. And then again, select all the um, all the similar images. You can either use, choose right-click, develop and copy, or you can choose sync and sync the settings across. Just tick the boxes of what you want to sync, hit synchronize, and you're done. Let's do one more. How about this one here by Amy Bray? Cute little guy. This is a raw file. So the first thing you need to do is set your white balance and exposure manually. You can do that by dragging the sliders. So I just clicked on a, um, a white area of the image. Might not be perfect. I do quite like the warmer tones, so you can just fiddle around with that. Once you set your white balance and your um, exposure, you can come down here. and click on the portrait profile for this one. Choose whichever base you want to use. Sound, but maybe add a proper contrast there. And we're done. So again, I'm going to create a virtual copy. This is just for video purposes. You really don't need to do this. Uh, develop the settings and reset down. So we see there before and after. And that's a really good way to kind of pre-edit or maybe use soft proof for your clients and you just want to create a quick soft proof gallery. Bring that up a little bit more. So you can just tweak and change and just sync it over the entire gallery like this. Select them all, right click, oh no, sync, <laughs> and synchronize, and it's done. You can see here, um, all these images now have got the same effects applied. And you can of course go in and tweak them a little bit more if you wanted to. So that is how to use and sync the LSP Lightroom, Cake Smash Lightroom presets. Um, they're using Lightroom Classic on the CC plan, but you can use these in Lightroom CC, Lightroom Mobile, and Adobe Camera Raw. You can also use these on older versions of Lightroom too. If you watch the LSP general Lightroom installation videos, it also will show you how to get, get started with any presets in there. So you can watch those if you use a different program. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.